Instead of purchasing an aerosol can spray for every time you want to maintenance your AC unit, I recommend this made by New Calgon. Now this is a coil gun cleaner that has a foaming wand that's really going to get good coverage on your coil. Whereas with the aerosol cans, I found that they didn't quite spread out the um, cleaner as well. And this has a huge advantage in that it covers everything. Now for reference, an aerosol can is gonna be about $15 every time you wanna clean your condenser. And honestly, it doesn't give you quite as much as this guy. This is a one-time purchase of about $100 on Amazon. This will last a super long time and you can get years and years of use with this. And in the long run, it's going to be way more cost effective. Now, a couple of cool features is that it has a dial up here and it automatically regulates the ratio of cleaner to water. So if you have it set to A, you're gonna have a three to one ratio. And then if you set it all the way to E, you'll have a 10 to one ratio. So depending on how dirty the unit is, you can just set it to that setting, rinse it down and you're good to go. Now, a couple of things you wanna make sure you do before you start with this is get yourself a set of rubber gloves and eyeglasses. Now, since the unit that we're working on is not physically attached to a home, I'm gonna show you on my unit what the first thing that we need to do is, and that's turn off the power. So very easy to do. We simply pull the cover up, pull the disconnect out. You can either set it on top or you can actually flip this upside down to where the off is in the top position. And this acts as a little storage place, but it's not actually connecting power. So as you can see, there's no resistance there but when you flip it to the on position, there's resistance when you plug it back in. Now, if your air conditioner is close to your breaker box, like mine is pretty close to the breaker box here, um, it could be on its own breaker, in which scenario you would just flip that one to the off position and then your power is shut off to the unit. Okay, so a couple of things to note. I wanna show you close up what these coils look like they're pretty nasty, but even if your coils don't look like this, I'm gonna show you what you can do to really gauge how good of a clean you're getting. Now, if you have two rows of coils, so you have the one outside one, and then some of the units will have another coil inside. So there's like two underneath this top piece. So I'm gonna take this off real quick and show you what this looks like underneath. And we're actually gonna shine a light on the backside for before and after, and you can see the difference that cleaning this coil is going to make. So even if your coil is not dirty like this, it is going to make a big difference and allow so much more air to flow through these fins and through those coils. All right, so as you can see, we're shining this light straight through right here. I'm all the way up against the uh, the coil here and we cannot see anything through it. So we're gonna clean this up and then we're gonna show you what that light looks like if you can see light um, after we clean out this coil. All right, so this system is extremely easy to use and it's quite satisfying over the aerosol cans. This comes, the kit comes with this nozzle and it has a quick connect so you simply attach it on and you are ready to go. And then you just set with whatever setting you want so I'm gonna set this to A, which is three to one, which will get some good foaming action. Make sure we get in between those coils real good. You can see all that brown nasty stuff coming out of it already. see all the nasty dirty junk some really nice foaming action going on here so we're basically just gonna let this sit let that soak into the coils and then we'll give that a good rinse 
All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and spray everything off and then we'll show you the finished result. Now, when you're rinsing this off, obviously you wanna start at the top, work your way down. Now this Lennox unit has um, a little grate that goes right around the coil and then it has this metal one and little bits will get stuck in there. Um, that's not gonna hurt anything but if you wanna take the time and take those out, you know, you can, but again, it's not gonna hurt anything. All right, everybody. So we got our unit all rinsed off. Everything is nice and clean. There's some stuff that's stuck to the little, uh, the little grate here, but none of that stuff really makes any difference as far as functionality. Uh, but I wanna show you the light trick now. Hopefully you guys can see that, but we've got light showing through now, whereas before, um, and it's kind of hard to see because it's the middle of the day, but we definitely didn't have any light that I could see with the naked eye, and I can definitely see it now. So definitely makes a big difference. So I wanna give you guys a couple of other tips that I have found over the years of being in the HVAC field, things that will help you as a homeowner. So last year I had a homeowner who had a super dirty coil uh, the compressor was actually locked up, so I didn't bother to do a service on that unit. Um, it was actually up on the roof, but it could have easily been down on the ground. Uh, the coil was real dirty. I tried to put a hard start kit on it, but the compressor was completely locked up. So I recommended replacing the condensing unit. And come to find out, she had a home warranty. Now, she called the home warranty company. They came out and looked at it. And they said because that coil was so dirty, even though she was covered with that home warranty, they refused to pay for the condensing unit. So in hindsight, uh, we could have cleaned that coil off. And then she called the home warranty company a few days later and had them come and look at it. And it's possible she could have got that unit for free. So if you guys use a home warranty company and you have a system that fails for whatever reason, make sure that it's clean before they come out so they get the impression or the idea that that unit has been maintained. Whether that is true or not um, is up to you. I definitely advise doing this once every spring, maybe once even during the summer if you have really uh, dusty conditions where your AC unit is setting. Keeping your system maintained on a regular basis and keeping it clean, even if that means just rinsing it down every once in a while with water, is not only going to keep the temperatures lower with the compressor, the pressures will be lower and the, and the compressor does not have to struggle as much. It's going to improve the longevity of your unit and it's going to mean cooler air in the middle of summer when you need it the most. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, leave it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. And if you wanna see the number one thing that every homeowner I personally feel should know how to do, check out this video. It's gonna show you the, by far, the most common repair when it comes to your air conditioner. So check it out. And until next time, you guys be safe. Later.